On Pink Floyd co-founder Roger Waters' current solo tour, instead of turning down the politics, he's amping them up to 11. Last time out, he preached against Donald Trump and in favor of Palestine. This tour, twice delayed by COVID and ominously titled This Is Not a Drill, includes references to police murdering black men, semi-automatic weapons and abortion, and giant video screens in the shape of a cross. Waters guitarist Jonathan Wilson has explained why Waters' tour differs from those of fellow older classic rockers. Quote, even the Stones are members of the Beatles. It's more of a trip down memory lane than it is a current show. The activism, that's sort of the key to the whole thing. As a longtime fan of Waters' music who doesn't always agree with his messaging, I wanted to ask him about his mix of performing and preaching. Things got a bit animated. So here's the quote, as I understand, that begins the show. If you're one of those, I love Pink Floyd, but I can't stand Rogers' politics, people. You might do well to f*** off the bar. You might do well to f off to the bar right now. At what? the outset of the show? Yeah. Because? Because it's a really good way to start the show. But apart from anything else, it sets a few things straight. Namely? It, well, it, it also it encourages a lot of the people who have come to the show. Um, a, because they have listened to everything I've written since, you know, 1965 or whenever I started writing songs. So they do know what my politics are and they do understand where my heart is and they understand sort of why I'm there. But maybe it also gives a message to people who don't want to be there, in which case them effing off to the bar is probably not a bad idea. Except that you never know those people, if they sit in a community like my audience is on these shows of This Is Not A Drill on this tour, there is such a great feeling of communication in that room between me and the audience and between us combined with all our brothers and sisters all over the rest of the world, irrespective of who they are, where they live, their ethnicity, their religion, their nationality or anything else. Because if this is not a drill has a message, it is that we have to communicate one with the other. To the guy who says, shut the F up, play the hits, do you want him, he's, as long as he doesn't shout it out, do you want him in the arena? I don't not want him there, so long as he doesn't annoy the people who do understand what's going on in the arena. I'm, I'm happy for him to But I'm be saying, there. like, do I have to buy in? Does a, does a person in the crowd have to buy in to the message? I've always loved the music. Right. Some, some of the messages I can buy into and some I can't. I've only got one message. Two strangers passing in the street, by chance two gl passing glances meet, and I am you and what I see is me. That is my message. And that was on medal, which was in 1970. And basically my message hasn't changed. I recognize your humanity, but I recognize all the Russians and the Chinese and the Ukrainians and the Yemenis and the Palestinians. Are you an equal opportunity offender on this tour? Here's why I ask. I remember the last tour, of course I came and watched, very much you know, about Trump. And in the current show, you've got a montage of war criminals, according to you, and a picture apparently of President Biden on the screen, and it says, just getting started. What's mm. that all about? President Joe Biden? Yeah. Well, he's fueling the fire in the Ukraine for a start. That is a huge crime. Why won't the United States of America uh, encourage Zelensky, the president, to negotiate obviating the need for this horrific, horrendous war but you're, that's you're, killing. You're blaming. How, we don't know how many Ukrainians But you're blaming the party Russia. that got invaded. Come on, you've got it reversed. Well, no, I, well that's, that you, you know, any war, when did it start? What you need to do is look at the history and you can say, well, it started on this day. You could say it started in 2008, okay? It's basic, this war is basically about the action and reaction of NATO pushing right up to the Russian border, which they promised they wouldn't do when Gorbachev negotiated the withdrawal of the USSR from the whole of Eastern Europe. 
when you say this, then I have to say, what about our role as liberators? You of all people. With, you have with no your, role as liberators. World what are you War II? Talking? World War II. You, you, you got you, into you World War II father. because Come it's on. Pearl Harbor. You, Pearl Harbor. You were completely isolationist until that sad, that devastating, I, I would argue awful we were day always in, going to in get in, and that pushed us in. But thank God the United States got in. Right? You well, lost your father well, in World War II. Thank God well, yeah, the United thank States. Good, but right? thank God the Russians had already won the bloody war almost by then. Don't forget, 23 million Russians died protecting you and me you from would, the Nazi you, menace. Hey, and you would think the Russians would have learned their lesson from war and wouldn't have invaded Ukraine. Well, you, you with all your reading, I would suggest to you, Michael, <laughs> that you go away and read a bit more and then try and figure out what the United States would do if the Chinese were putting um, nuclear armed missiles into Mexico and Canada. The Chinese are too busy encircling Taiwan as we speak. Okay? They're not encircling Taiwan. Taiwan <laughs> is part of China. And oh. that's been absolutely accepted by the whole of the international community since 1948. And if you don't know that, you're not reading enough. Go and read about it. Okay. Did we solve anything here this today? Is, no. Well, yeah, we did. Well, I mean, no, we didn't. Because I mean, Nancy, you're, believe, Nancy, you're believing your propaganda, your side's propaganda. You're defining but it as Taiwan, propaganda. But Taiwan, you cannot, you can't have a conversation about human rights, and you can't have a conversation about Taiwan without actually Roger, doing the reading. Roger, if you're having a conversation about human rights, at the top of the list of offenders are the Chinese. Why is it always the uh, Western world? Is that at the top of what? your list? Why is it the always Chinese the Western Chinese didn't world? invade Iraq and kill a million people in 2003. In fact, as far as I can recall, hang on a minute, who have the Chinese invaded and murdered, slaughtered? In their the own. Minute? Their own. Bollocks. Okay. That's absolute <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> Complete nonsense. <laughs> you should go away and read, but read some <laughs> proper Hey, my literature. problem is I spend too much time reading your liner notes, okay? Thank you for doing this. Thank I appreciate you for it. talking to me. All it's right. always a pleasure. <laughs> Is it? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. You're such a troublemaker. Please don't call me that. What? My God. <laughs>